which were really impressive from Wales. And towards the end of the round, Casey started to make the impact he'd been trying to make throughout the round. But I thought just a little Back bit too fight. late yeah. to win Boxing the round. Yeah. One round I want to box. Benny King with a Vaseline, keeping the eye intact. Yellow and black trunks of Josh Whale, red and black of this whirlwind from Limerick, Willie Casey. Cheered from the rafters here at your call from the fans who've made it over. If Casey just had a little bit more technique to back up the physical strength and power that he has, he would really be a force to be reckoned with. He's a little bit crude. But what does Will have left in the tank? Well, whoever signed him up for prize fighter, Willie Casey, they did their homework. Perfect, isn't he? Tremendous. You know what he's brought to it? With the sheer endeavour, he's never stopped coming forward, never stopped letting big punches go. Will has to be careful that he doesn't start looking negative in the last round here. Oh, catches him with a call. No, that, that, was a good shot. that was a good call. That was a good call. His legs were bent uh, almost to the floor before that little punch landed. That was never a knockdown. Did dip though. Will that just spur way along? It does. Back to the ropes. It's been accurate at times here. Josh Whale, although under heavy, heavy fire. missing badly again good control in Wales boxing again Casey just can't pin him down for the powerful shots but he looks the boss will that impress the judges but the accurate counters again from Josh Whale Whale pumping out the punches never landed the cleaner ones throughout the nine minutes it's going to be really tough to split them if it goes the full way right hand from and hats off to Jim to the training teams of all these guys to get them in this sort of condition I mean it's tremendous there hasn't been a deep breath taken here but it's just been constant action from start to finish lovely boxing and little spots from Josh Whale but has he just been overwhelmed by the work rate of Casey? I think Casey's missed quite a bit in the last round here. So it's just what impresses you is that the all-out aggression of the clever, skillful boxing of Wheel. I'm leaning slightly towards Wheel. But how could you possibly argue whichever way this one goes? Incredible battle. Exemplary effort. They've been a real credit, all eight of them. Whale, for me, just done that little bit more than a right hand from Casey. How will the judges see it? Once more, an embrace. Casey thinks he's got it, so does Whale. Respect. And I would imagine friends for life too after what they went through success you can't split them three more to wail on punches so hard for the judges tonight so tough i have wheel nicking it just for the better quality i mean boxing is a game of skill remember it's not just about coming forward swinging punches but it every round was so close it's just one of these fights you pick what you like i thought casey did it a bit more landed some quality shots in the opening round Second round, Whale started to come back into things, used a bit more movement, started putting counter punches together, looked apart, used his skills a little bit more to take the round on my card. In the third round, Casey did not stop coming forward, but the accuracy, and you can see that wasn't a knockdown, that was a, a good call by the referee. But he kept walking on to shots, didn't stop throwing punches, Casey, but I don't think he had the accuracy required to win the last round, but if the judges disagree, I would not dream of arguing with it. I think Wheel has nicked it, but uh, the judges can see it how they please. It was one of those fights. Wow. And as they sit down, there are so many people at ringside on their feet in awe of what they are seeing. How can we have a loser?
Ladies and gentlemen, we go to your judges' scorecard where we have a split decision. Terry O'Connell scores it 29 points to 28 in favour of Casey. Mark Green scores it 29 points to 28 in favour of Whale. And Judge John Keane scores it 29 points to 28 for your winner. And now through to the prize fighter super bantamweight final from Limerick, Rudy Big Bang Casey. The standing ovations everywhere you look here because these boys are putting on some show. Is that the way you saw it, Johnny? No, I actually, I had a whale in front. I, I, but Adam was right. You couldn't pick a winner. Any one of them, you could be happy with to go through to the final. Yeah, you can't argue. No, one you, the you other can't. Uh, you know, even though I picked whale, well, I thought Casey's sheer determination was great. You know, and I think that's what got him through. Let's hear from them talking to Ed Robinson. Well, Willie, through to the final after a great battle. What a night you're having. Yeah. It's a... I had one with Mark and then I had one with Joe. What a crack, like great walk rate with him, like, you know? Joe. <laughs> Josh, you gave you all. Do you regret the change of tactics, boxing off the back foot more? I, I've never gone back like that in my life, but in, in the changing rooms, my dad and Dave said, if you, if, you, if you go forward in this fight, it's going to be stopped on court. So I had to change all my tactics, and I thought I, I did enough to change my tactics. And I like a rematch because he's a good kid, proud warrior. Willie, can you do another three hard rounds and win this? Yeah, well, I'm going hard out for it now, like, you know, I'm the best. I'm after beating all the odds. Mark, Josh is favourite to win this. The odds don't mean nothing, but I'm going all the way now this time. Well done. Right, me Willie Casey through to the final of Prize Fighter, but who will join him? It's a battle of the Welshmen. 